In these tutorials, we are going to solve some examples on the various rules of differentiation. So we'll start with the power rule. The power rule. So the power rule works for an example. Let's see if we have y, which is equal to a certain ax raised to the power n. So the power rule, the derivative dy of dx is going to be multiplying this n by the coefficient of that. Then you reduce the power by 1. So this is simply the power rule. Multiply the power by the coefficient. Then you reduce the power by 1. So for example, find the derivative of y is equal to. So for the first one, y is equal to x squared. So therefore, our dy on dx is equal to, we multiply the 2 by x squared, we reduce the power by 1, which is 2x raised to the power x of what? 1. So 2x. Example 2. Find the derivative of y equal to x cubed. Therefore, our dy on dx is going to be this power 3 multiplying the x then the power reduced by 1. dy on dx is going to be 3 raised to the power x squared. Are we good? Let's look at the third example. What is the derivative of x? Here, remember, it's just x raised to the power 1. So can we say dy on dx is equal to this 1 multiplying this x we reduce the power by 1. So it's going to be x raised to the power 0. Any number raised to the power 0 is what? 1. Therefore, the derivative of x is 1 using the power rule. It's very simple. These are objective questions and the approach to solve them. The fourth one, what if we have y equal to the root of x? So our derivative, remember, root of x is the same as x raised to the power half. So our derivative dy on dx is going to be this power half will multiply the x. You reduce the power by 1. So I'm going to get half x raised to the power negative half. So this negative half can be written as this. It can come down here as a positive half, which is the same as 1 on 2. This half is the same as square root of x and this is the derivative of root of x are we good so this is using the power rule It's very simple and can help you in objectives what if it is a polynomial function using the power rule let's try our hands on some of them polynomial so a polynomial for example can be given in the form Find the derivative of y equals e 2x plus 4x plus e x. What is the derivative? So here our dy on dx is going to be when you are differentiating natural log function or e functions, first you differentiate the exponent and you multiply it by the function itself. So I'm going to differentiate the exponent. So differentiation of 2x is going to give me 2. So that 2 will multiply the whole expression again, 2x. We will use the chain rule to prove this and we will understand it better. So now, when you are differentiating a polynomial, the same as differentiating them one by one. There we go. So I'll come to this. Using the power rule, I can differentiate it as now this will go making 4 plus this if you differentiate it will be 1 multiplying the same expression ex therefore the derivative will be 2 e2x plus 4 plus ex and it's very simple are we good this is the differential of that function okay so can we find other examples? So example two, what if we are asked to differentiate f of x equal to s cubed 
minus 5x square plus 7x minus 4. We have to differentiate this expression. So, using the power rule for each of them, our derivative dy on dx or f prime of x is going to be the power rule for this will be 3x square. The power rule for this will be 10x. Then the power rule for this is going to be plus 7. The derivative of a constant is minus 0, which is the same as 3x square minus 10x plus 7, 4 the derivative so let's look at this two the third example if y is equal to plus 2x how do we differentiate this still using the power rule for each of them my dy on dx is going to be 8x plus 2 then we are good to go are we okay so let's the same polynomial what if we have f of x equal to x minus 1 this is x minus 1 multiply another bracket 2x plus 1 okay with this we can use a product rule to differentiate but what if i want to use the polynomial approach first i can expand this bracket to get this x by that to be 2x square that will be what positive x this multiply this this will give me negative one are we good so my function can be reduced to 2x this is not a derivative i'm just solving negative x minus one so this is the compressed or the expanded form of this whole equation so i can now find the derivative which is f prime of x to be 4 x minus one and you are good to go are we good with this you are good to go this so this is the polynomial approach using the polynomial approach what about the chain rule we can also use the chain rule approach to solve such questions the chain rule approach so let's look at the chain rule So, the formula for the chain rule can be written as my dy on dx will always be a certain dy on a certain du on du on dx. So, always this term and this term will be like term. Are we good? So that they will not cancel out, but assuming if they cancel out, we will still get our dy on dx back. That's quite simple so for example we have to find some parameters we are given so a question is like given y is equal to 3u square plus 1 and we have our u given us 4 plus 1 we have to find a dy on the u then our b we have to find the u on dx then we have to find dy on dx so first we have to find dy on the u meaning differentiate dy on the u we are differentiating y with, uh, with respect to what the u so that will be this equation and that will be because we have y and u in this equation so using the power rule for this we are going to get 6 u the derivative of this constant is 0 so this is dy on the u what about the b part the u on dx where can we find u with respect to x that's the second equation and that will be using power rule we are going to get 8x for that what about our dy on dx for these two functions so meaning our dy let me start from this side our dy on dx is going to be the dy on du using the chain rule and the du on 
the dx so the y on the u what do we have we have six u multiplying the u on dx which is eight x but we know the value of what the u to be four x squared plus one so can we see six multiplying four x squared plus one multiplying eight x so this we can now do our expansion and multiply through to get our final answer so six go to this that'll be 24 x squared plus six still multiplying as certain eight x and when you expand this you're going to get this multiplied by that 192 s cube this by that 48 x and our example is solved are we good so sometimes too they can give you complex ones that you have to bring out to your u let's see so for example if for a function we are on the chain rule y is equal to e to the power 4x square plus 2 we are to differentiate this we did some under the power rule but if you want to use the chain rule approach here we know that if you are differentiating a natural log function or e function we differentiate the exponent and multiply it by the expression so that is going to give us if i differentiate this i'm going to get 8x this will be zero multiplying the whole expression again e raised the power 4x squared plus 2 so this is the power rule using the chain rule i can let this be my u so let u be the exponent which is 4x squared plus 2 can i differentiate u with respect to x yes that's going to give me 8x so now the function if you let this be u can we say y is equal to e raised to the power u? Yes, I can differentiate the y with respect to this u. And if I do this using the power rule, I'm just getting the same e raised to the power u. Are we good? So using the y on the x for the chain rule, which is the y on the u, multiplying the u on the x. I can get my dy on dx to be dy with respect to du is e raised to the power u multiplying du dx 8x are we good therefore my dy on my dx is going to be I know the value of what u I let u to be equal to that and this is my 8x so can I say 8x multiplying this e u which is 4x squared plus 2 so this is using the chain rule to differentiate these functions are we good let's look at another example if we are using y is equal to the same e functions e raised to the power sine x plus cos x sine x cos x so if straightforward i'm using the power rule i will differentiate everything here multiply it and the same function so if i'm differentiating this one by one the derivative of sine will be cos so that will be cos x the derivative of cos x is negative sine x so this is the derivative of this function then you multiply it with the same expression sine x plus cos x all right so this is straightforward the power rule what if i want to use the chain rule so here i'll let this all this be u so let u be sine x plus cos x can i differentiate the u with respect to x this will give you us cos x then the derivative of cos x is negative sine x so this whole expression can be written as y equal 
e raised to the power u. The derivative of dy on du is the same thing. Using the power rule, if you differentiate this, you get 1. You multiply it here, and you are getting the same expression. So then, the dy on the dx from the chain rule formula is this e raised to the power u multiplying this whole thing, which is cos x negative sine x. I know the value of u and this, therefore my dy on dx is going to be this expression cos x negative sine x e raised to the power u, but let u be equal to that sine x plus cos x and you are good to go. So these are examples that we can solve under the rules. We can do the product rule and the quotient rule. Thank you for watching this episode.